What's your name? Lucas. It's going to be okay, Lucas. Where does it hurt most? <laughs> My neck. Real bad. <laughs> Where are you coming back from, Lucas? Millwood Arts Camp. <laughs> it was winter overnight this weekend <laughs> for the counselors in training. Any pain besides your neck? <laughs> My hands kind of tingle. <laughs> Squeeze my fingers. Good job. Try to stay very still, okay? What is that? It's a possible fractured vertebrae. We won't know how bad until we image. Get him on a spinal board. Try to keep him huh? still. If he decompensates, come and find me. Okay. Don't move. Everything's gonna be okay. Who needs help? If you can't speak, raise your hand. Lucas started gasping for air on the way back from CT. Okay, can I get the ultrasound? Yeah. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. We're gonna find out what's going on, okay? Okay, there's no lung sliding on the right side. Traumatic hemothorax. Can I get a 24 French and a chest tube tray? We're gonna keep you really still. Just gonna get your arm out of the way. It's gonna help you breathe better. All right, there we go. Give that tube. Okay. What's happening? You have a collapsed lung, but Dr. Curtis is gonna fix that. Inserting chest tube now. So what are we looking at here? And we're in. Hemo Nemo. How's that feel, Luke? Is that better? My neck really hurts. And my feet are tingling. Positive Babinski sign. What do you think in neural dysfunction? Mm -hmm. His CT should be up by now. Hey, Lucas, that pain you're talking about, is it sharp or dull? It's sharp. It's sharp. Okay. I'm scared. Uh, hey, Lucas, what's your favorite thing to do at camp? I'm learning drums. Drums? Okay. What kind of music do you like? Loud. <laughs> Yeah. Look at this. So that led to occipital dislocation. It happens during impact trauma. His head is only holding on by muscle and skin. Yeah. Internal decapitation. He's lucky we didn't intubate. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna fix this. I'm Dr. Singh. When you were thrown from your seat, you injured your spinal cord. Can you undo these? Uh, you need to keep perfectly still. No, I can't. I need to move. Okay, look, this is really important, okay? Two of the vertebrae in your neck are broken, so if you move, the part of your spinal cord that's still attached will sever. Does that mean that if I can't stay still, it could kill me? What we're saying, son, is we're going to take you to surgery to fix this, no, but no, until no, no, we no. get there... I can't, I can't, I can't. Prepare two milligrams of Ativan. Okay, I, I understand. Lucas, okay, I get it. Trust me, I hate staying still also, and it makes my skin crawl when someone tells me that I have to. My mother says I never stop moving. My mom says the same thing. And then I became a surgeon, and other people's lives in my hands, just no room for wrong moves. So I had to learn how to control that panicky feeling. I'm pretty sure that if I can do it, you can do it too. How? How? Well, uh, we start by setting the mood. Get the lights, Dr. Singh. Please. So, uh, no talking. Focus on what you can hear. Can you hear your heart beating? It sounds like drums, right? Focus on that rhythm. It's, it's a little fast right now. And you need to bring that down. So see if you can use your breathing to slow down the rhythm of that beat. Focus on that rhythm. Slow down that beat. You're nailing it. Je tourne autour de la